All right, I'm going to do a test today. It is going to involve a Touch IC iPhone 6 Plus repair. Um, so I think by now we all know that M1 right here, M1, the M1 pad is, if this is severed, um, the screen loses touch functionality. And uh, from what I understand, this, this M1 right here pipes to this uh, six-pronged guy right here. He's, this guy right here, which um, the proximity sensor feeds into here, which turns the screen black and uh, disables the touch. Um, yeah, so M1 to this guy, proximity sensor turns touch off. And when this gets severed, we lose touch. But the question is, what gives us the gray bars? I have no idea. All I know is that these these two ground pads are oxidized, sometimes these two, and then this ground pad is oxidized. So what I'm going to do today is, um, I, I like this one is PPV18, which is a 1.8 volt line that feeds to something related to the touch. But this, the pad right below that is also a PP1V8. And I don't see these oxidized very, as often that often, but even if this is oxidized, this should still be able to power whatever is needed, I believe, because they're connected, you know? So, um, unless uh, it's two separate circuits, which I don't think it is, because they are connected. So, um, this one right here is, I'm not sure what that is, actually. Uh, I think that's just another data line. Um, so, maybe this plays a role in it as well. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been jumping M1 here to this right here. And uh, that seems to be working fairly well, but the results aren't quite in yet because I just started really doing that, you know. But I, I do know that of the of the Touch IC repairs that I've done when I've jumped M1, they rarely ever come back. I'm just saying. Um, so now let's... Um, what I'm going to do is place a mason on here and remove these two ground pads right here, okay? I'm, I'm just going to force a, a no connection, and, and let's see if we get some gray bars, or let's see let's see what happens, okay? I don't know what happens right now. I mean, do we lose touch? I don't think we will, because they're just ground pads, you know? Are they necessary? I don't know. So, the only way to do that is to really just test it, really, you know? I mean, that's really the only way that we can figure out if that affects the touch or not, okay? I know, it's a waste of freaking time, but maybe in the long run, it'll help. So I have a reballed chip here. It's not the prettiest reball. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Yep, I'm doing this and showing you guys. So you guys, you guys don't have to waste your time. Right? Alright. This might take a little while because I. Uh, okay. As if I don't do enough touch eye repairs to begin with, I, I'm going to do one like. That doesn't work. <laughs> okay. So these two corner pads right here, I'm just going to remove them. These two corner ground pads. These two right here. Okay, so those are the two ground pads right there. Okay, so I'm just going to use my uh, hot tweezers here and jab at them. Wait for my iron to get hot here. Okay, here you go. So, let's just... Is this even working? <laughs> Let me put a little flux on there. Maybe I can get it off a little better. Yes. All 
All right, there should be so little flux on there now, and I'm also going to wick those two pads right there, okay? With these two mothers. Just going to wick them. Well, unfortunately, my wick is dirty. I need to cut my wick. All right, come on. Man. All right, so there you go. So that's wicked right there. Pretty good. And with these two balls of solder here that are pretty much uh, off of the chip, I'm going to place it back and um, I should, probably should have used a new chip because this re-balled one is not very good. Anyways, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, I mean, hopefully that's not a variable in this. Because it's a little bit uneven, to be honest with you. Like that, that, a little bit uneven. Kind of stupid. Should I just waste two chips and do it? I mean, that's pretty uneven right there. Those two. Eh! Alright. If I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. So, All right, I'm going to use my other chip here that I reballed, which is a little bit better. I was going to put this one on as the real one, but, uh,. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just use this one. I think I think this will be fine. All right. So let's go. Probably should use new chip. So basically, this is going to be a touch IC repair minus those two ground pads, hopefully. All right, so that's on, and hopefully good. So let's uh, let it cool just a little bit, and then we will test it. You know, I might need a better light ring because I'm looking at it right now, and that's so dark. Okay. Um All right, so let's All right, let's test it. All right, so uh, let's see. It took me a little while because I just set up this webcam again. But anyways, can you guys see it here? Okay, so let me type in our passcode real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you can see, T 
touch works no problemos okay let's see if we can replicate the gray flickering okay uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get you guys to see it but I'm just gonna push down on it a little bit and see if we can get some sort of flickering So basically I'm holding a icon and then just kind of pushing down on it and I get nothing. So this thing works perfectly. This thing works perfectly without those two round pads. Alright, so those I'm never going to jump ever again, okay? Not necessary. Um, so I think that's it. I mean, the gray flickering is probably just M1 related. I mean, I, that's my guess, alright? Um, so I'm going to... I'm gonna redo this and uh, make sure those pads are grounded just in case and uh, run run a jumper to M1 and then that's it really so I think that's it I, th I think uh, I think I'm gonna stop um, putting metal shields on I'm gonna stop putting metal shields on and just run jumpers uh, to M1 and 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 that's it um, that's my touch IC repair okay all right there you go guys <clears throat>